Hi, Stephanie Mullen, back with you to show you how Rampant Studio Flares can quickly stylize and enhance your video in a matter of minutes using Final Cut Pro 10. What are Studio Flares, you ask? Well, these are real organic flares that were shot on a red Epic camera system that you can drag in a quick time format over your timeline, throw a blending mode on there, and voila, you now have amazing movie quality flares placed on top of your footage. And you want to talk variety? Well, you got it. With this product, you get over 500 flare clips, and these clips are simply amazing. Wait a second. 500 clips is going to take me hours to look through. Well, put your fears aside, because we have created a PDF file that's going to allow you to look through all the flares in a matter of seconds. Just take a look at all these flares, and look how amazing they really are. Every kind of flare I could think of is in this pack. All right. Let's go ahead and see these flares in action. I'm going to switch over to Final Cut. And here you can see I already have my footage in my timeline. All right, and I'm going to play it for you. There it is. Now this is a really cool club scene. But let's see if we can increase that coolness with a flare or two. So let me rewind that. I'm going to go up here and look at my flare library. Now as you can see here, I have four flares right here. One, two, three, four. Wait a second. Wait a second, hold on. Aren't there supposed to be over 500 flares? That's right, there are 500 flares in the whole volume, but Rampant is giving away these four flares for free. That's right, for free. Check out the link in the info below and go get your free flares today. Okay, so we have our flares here. I'm just gonna quickly scrub through them so you can see what they do. Very nice. All right. And I think I'm gonna place this one, this flare right here over my footage. I'm gonna grab that, I'm gonna press Q. I'm gonna go down here. I just wanna match up my footage to the actual flare. Perfect. I love the way this looks. Now you can't see your footage yet because we have to change the blend mode. So to do that, I'm gonna click on my clip right here. Go over to the inspector. And as you can see here, right here, there's a little bit of, of uh, sizing difference. If you didn't know, Final Cut automatically scales down your clip to fit in your, with your, whatever your footage is. So right now it's scaling down my footage to be in an HD and timeline. All we have to do is we can change that here from fit to none, okay? We're gonna keep it on fit, and we're just gonna increase the scale just a little bit. That looks go cool. a little bit, there we go. Oop, there, perfect, okay. Now, to change our blend mode, we're gonna go down here to the compositing tab. And we're going to switch this from normal to add. Now you can use any compositing blend mode that you would like. Go ahead and experiment, try which one, see which one looks best for your footage. Now I'm going to roll back the playhead. I'm going to press space bar and we're going to watch this flare magic happen. Look at that. Woo! It looks so nice. All right, now as I already said, this is an HD timeline. This is an HD clip. And these are 4K flares. So you're thinking that you don't need 4K, right? Well, let me show you how wrong you are. Right now, our flare clip is actually sized to our footage, but if we actually took it to the actual 4K size, which we come over here to the inspector, go to none, you'll see how much bigger it looks. And just take a look at the difference. Press spacebar. Now, instead of having that big flare on the side, you can't see that, and it looks a, it's kind of closer to the camera. It's different. So with these 4K flares, you can actually play around with them. You can't do that with an HD clip. So if I go back up to the scale, I can now scale it down. You can make it the what we had before. I can scale it up. I can also reposition this. So maybe I want more of that. That's a little much. Maybe I want less of it. I can go all the way to there. Look at that. That's really nice. I kind of actually like that. Let's go ahead and play that. So let me first rewind this, and then we can play it. See, that's nice. I really like this flare over here. I really like that. That, lo that looks really good. And it looks different. And like I said, you can play around with these. You can put them on the, move the Y. So maybe I want it down here. Maybe I want it closer to the top. You can pretty much do whatever you want with these clips. It's really nice. That's what, 4K is nice for that. With the 4K clip, you have the option to create the effect that fits your footage perfectly, right? So that's what I like about that. All right, and that's that. All it takes is dragging the flare clip from your from your bin up here to your timeline, change the compositing mode, and you are done. Remember, because you are working in 4K, uh, you can change the size and reposition it as well. And don't forget about color. That's a simple change too. So much goodness in one not so small volume.
And what's that? J.J. Abrams in the house, y'all. That's right. These are real flares. Real flares. So go ahead and get your free flares from Rampant today and start creating your own Captain Kirk masterpieces. Oh, before you leave, go ahead and click that like button down there. Right there. Almost there. And click. Perfect. Definitely keep those tutorial requests coming in as well. We are always listening and love hearing what you want to see. You can leave a comment here or hit us up on Twitter at Rampant Design or on Facebook at facebook.com slash rampant media. And of course, you can always find more tutorials at rampantdesigntools.com. Until next time, I'm Stephanie Mullen with Rampant Design. Thanks for watching. Bye!